Okay, it's 2 a.m., 2 p.m., <laughs> so I think I will start before we run out of time. Uh, welcome everyone to the session. I'm really happy uh, to have all of you here. So today we have a session with basically everyone who will be presenting is a member of the European Reference Genome Atlas. And this session uh, consists of two hours. So in the first hour, we'll have uh, presentations by five of our committees. And you have a chance to learn more about their activities. And yeah, it will be a bit intense, one uh, presentation after the other. Uh, and then the second part, uh, we'll have three talks uh, with then an opportunity for questions, all related to results coming from the ERGA pilot project. And throughout the session, we will learn more about what this pro what was this project, what, what, and yeah. So let's get started. I will share my screen. Hopefully, everyone can see it in presentation mode. And yeah, so as I mentioned, these are the nine ERGA committees, and we will be hearing from some of them today. Uh, this is the lineup of talks. I can also share the, the book of abstracts we have for this session in the chat in a, in a moment. Uh, but before we go to the committees, I'm happy to introduce the ERGA chairs uh, who will be giving an introduction to the consortium to you. Camilla Mazzoni, Claudia Choffi, and Robert Waterhouse. Thank you so much for agreeing to present. <laughs> Okay, I, uh, Louise, I think, uh, thank you very much. I think I'll start with the first couple of slides. Okay, so, um, so uh, yeah, my name is Claudio Schofi. I'm from the University of Florence and I'm the current, one of the current vice chairs uh, of ERGA. And um, I'm going to briefly introduce how basically the European Reference Genome Atlas uh, initiative started. Um, as uh, all of you know, reference genomes are kind of high quality DNA sequence. And uh, there are several initiatives, either regional or taxon based, um, in place for the production of reference genomes of a variety of organisms. And ERGA is the first uh, pan European consortium with the aim of generating reference genomes representing the biodiversity of Europe. Now, the very first idea of establishing a, an European initiative uh, was presented in January 2020 at the Plant and Animal Genome Conference in San Diego. And later on, uh, a working group was formed and uh, we then started an informal uh, membership campaign. Then in July 2020, um, a position paper advocating the importance of genomics for biodiversity and ecosystem services conservation uh, was sent to the European Directory General for Research and Innovation. And after that, um, we started the process of conceiving a draft for the first call of the Horizon Europe program on biodiversity and ecosystem services. Um, so in next slide, uh, we go uh, on, uh, the 2021 uh, has been a, a year for an exponential growth of, uh, of ERGA. A council was established, the chair and two vice chair were elected, different committees were formed and the first ERGA structure documents uh, uh, were drafted and approved. All these events developed uh, along with a number of uh, very important initiatives. Uh, the first one was the establishment of a pilot project whereby the genomes of more than 90 species were and are being characterized. Um, and then we opened the first community call for species nomination. Uh, a second important step has been the establishment of a joint venture between ERGA and Bioscan Europe. And this resulted in the submission of the Biodiversity Genomics Europe proposal for funding to the European community. And then in 2022, the BG project started, and this marked uh, the first significant um, financial support, uh, which all ERGA members directly or indirectly uh, benefit from. Then uh, the ERGA webpage, uh, quite important step, which was created first in 2021, developed further uh, with a new design uh, and 
information on funding opportunities. And this year, 2023, a final and official governance structure uh, document was drafted and endorsed by the Council. And the second term of, let's call it phase two of ERDA has started. So we have the second term chair in the person of Rob Waterhouse and the other members of the executive board will be uh, selected soon. Um, so, relatively speaking, and looking at other similar initiatives worldwide, um, it has been noticed uh, how quickly ERGA has developed since its conception uh, in a complex, uh, uh, but uh, for sure very well organized and I think democratic uh, consortium. And these uh, gives opportunities for involvement uh, to everyone who has the time and in particular, the right enthusiasm to participate in the different uh, ERGA initiatives. So uh, I will then leave to Rob to elaborate on the ERGA community mission and goals. Thanks a lot, Claudia. Yes, so just very briefly, uh, Claudia is giving you a little bit of a, a history lesson uh, about how we have uh, reached where we are today. And just to set the scene a little bit here in terms of what are our uh, guiding mission and uh, the primary goals, essentially we are a community of scientists that have come together in response to what we see as the growing threats to biodiversity, particularly uh, in Europe, obviously, because we're all based here in Europe. But the underlying tenant, if you like, is that if we are going to be able to protect and restore biodiversity, then we need to understand biodiversity. And reference genomes and genomics more generally are an important part of the growing toolkit that we can actually use to uh, develop our understanding of biodiversity. And so science needs genomes in order to understand biodiversity. So this gives us our kind of overarching mission of reference genome generation. And that is really uh, not just the sequencing and assembly part of the whole process, but all the way from the very first step of uh, sampling in, in the field to taxonomic identification, to working out how to get uh, the best high quality DNA out of the samples, then into the sequencing and the assembly and uh, the deposition of the data in open public repositories, making it available then for downstream analysis by the entire research community. Uh, next slide, please. And so as we've been developing over the last uh, two and a half or so years, um, essentially we're consolidating our community efforts for trying to democratize the process of genome generation. And here we can kind of summarize the three main activities or the three main fronts on which we are driving forward. The first being uh, ERGA as an initiative that is aiming to produce reference quality genomes through our ERGA core projects that are actually contributing to building this atlas of reference genomes in a distributed manner. The second main front is how ERGA is functioning as an umbrella network across European researchers, helping to coordinate, to align, and support and promote uh, national and regional projects recognizing that this is a <clears throat> collective effort that needs to occur in a distributed manner and requires some coordination, alignment, and support from projects that are already underway to help new projects get started. And the third main front is ERGA acting as a hub of knowledge where we are able to connect scientists with a diverse range of expertise through supporting knowledge transfer and training in biodiversity genomics. And again, I stress across the whole workflow from the very beginnings from sample collection all the way through to the genome and genomic analysis at the end. Next slide, please, Louisa. Thank you. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to hear from uh, some of the committees today about the work that they are doing. And this slide was really to emphasize that most of the work that we are achieving uh, through ERGA is really being driven by the activities of all of the different committees. If you could click again, Luisa. Thank you. <laughs> and this is, you know, in, in a high level terms, it's really building community standards, providing practical guidelines for researchers on the ground to use, also on the bioinformatics side, building analysis workflows, 
on the sampling side, but also across the whole uh, workflow, uh, developing SOPs, standard operating procedures so that we can uh, uh, better uh, in, in, enhance and align all of the activities along the workflow. Improving metadata collection and methods for doing that and guidelines to support researchers to be able to do that properly. Putting in place support systems, so like a Q&A or a help desk where anyone can ask uh, their question of the community to try to find answers by people who've already experienced some of these uh, challenges along the way. So supporting this uh, sharing of information across the community and continuing to build uh, new protocols and best practices that are supporting the entire workflow. And so it's just a, a really big thanks from me and the chairs for all the hard work of all the committees that are producing all of these important outputs. Thank you. Thanks, Rob and Claudio. So I will, I'm going to continue. I'm Camilla Mazzoni from the Leibniz Institute for Zoo and Wildlife in Berlin. I'm the current chair. This is actually today's my last month of uh, chair of Ergo is starting when uh, at the end of the month, I'm going to pass the button to Rob. So I'm very happy about it because we have actually achieved so much. And as you have seen, this community is large, is expanding, and there is room for everyone who wants to participate. I'm going to talk to you now about the BGE, which is the European funded project that supports ERGA, but it's not the limits of ERGA. ERGA as a, as a network, as a community is much larger uh, than the project itself. But this BGE project is very important for the current status of ERGA and for the development. So the, the BGE was formed in a joint effort between ERGA and Bioscan Europe, which is the European branch of the International Barcode of Life. Um, we applied together for, uh, maybe if you go to the next slide, please, Louisa. We applied together uh, for this um, Horizon Europe uh, uh, call, and we formed two streams, the genome and the barcode one, where we try to interact as much, as much as possible, but we have also our independent goals. In terms of the genome stream goals, um, we have three maybe overarching ones. Uh, first, to establish and implement large-scale biodiversity genomic data generation workflows. Second, to generate reference quality genomes from critical European biodiversity, biodiversity hotspots, pollinators, and the selection of applied case studies that are helping us uh, demonstrating the utility of reference genomes and genome data associated to them. And finally, and maybe the most important one from BG is uh, go from BG is really to support Orga in its mission to accelerate the production and accessibility of re reference quality genomes for species from the entire European biodiversity. And next one, please. There are many ways that the BG interacts with the Urga community. Um, you will see the people who participate in our committees, which by the way, are open for participation. They are all supported by coordination coming from the BG project. There is a lot of joint um, um, effort and, and endeavors and work done between uh, the in, broad Urga community and the BG. And one other way is by inviting community participation in producing the data that uh, is coming from the project. So here you see the example of three major calls that were launched this year. They are already finalized. Uh, the, the ones, the two on the right are now going to the second phase. So these are calls for community sampling, for reference genome sequencing, for selecting hotspots of biodiversity across Europe uh, where people will be able to um, sample different uh, species for reference genome sequencing. And finally, new case studies to expand uh, our portfolio of species, but also of countries that are represented uh, within the project. So um, I think this is the last one, right, Lisa, from me? Yes. Yeah, so with this, this is really just a 
very quick snapshot of what the BGE project is and the interaction with Erga. If you want to learn more, there was a BGE day on Monday and next week there will be a recording. So you can learn a bit more details there. Thank you very much to all. I'm super happy and excited to hear the next uh, talks uh, demonstrating what we have achieved in this first phase of Erga. Thank you.